Helicobacter pylori is a bacterium that can colonize the stomach and cause various gastrointestinal issues. We're going to talk about the cause, transmission, symptoms, diagnosis and risk factors associated with the H. pylori infection and we're also going to talk about its treatment. So Helicobacter pylori, often referred to as H. pylori, is a gram-negative bacterium that primarily colonizes the stomach lining. It's a major cause of chronic gastritis, which is where we have inflammation of the stomach lining, and it's associated with peptic ulcers and certain types of stomach cancer. The exact mode of transmission is not fully understood, but it's thought to occur through oral, oral or fecal oral routes. It can spread from person to person, especially in crowded or unsanitary conditions. The symptoms associated with a H. pylori infection, some people may not experience any symptoms at all, but when symptoms do occur, they can include abdominal discomfort, especially in the upper abdomen, nausea and vomiting, bloating and belching, loss of appetite, unintended weight loss, and gastric and duodenal ulcers, which can lead to bleeding and discomfort. To diagnose a H. pylori infection, uh, you can use several methods. So a breath test, this involves ingesting a substance and then breathing into a bag to measure the presence of carbon dioxide, which is produced when H. pylori metabolizes the substance. A stool test is another way to diagnose a H. pylori infection. So a stool sample is analyzed for the presence of H. pylori antigens or DNA. A blood test can be done, so a blood sample is taken and it's tested for the presence of H. pylori antibodies, which indicates past or current infection. And lastly, an endoscopy or a biopsy can also be done to diagnose a H. pylori infection, so an endoscope is used to visualize a stomach lining. And a small tissue sample can be taken, which is a biopsy, which is taken to detect H. pylori and assess for any damage. In terms of the risk factors, the several factors that can increase the likelihood of a H. pylori infection. And this can include living in overcrowded or unsanitary conditions, close contact with an infected person, poor hygiene practices, consumption of contaminated food or water, and certain lifestyle factors such as smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. So the H. pylori infection is typically treated with a combination of antibiotics and acid suppressing medications. The aim is to eradicate the bacteria and allow the stomach lining to heal. Common antibiotic regimens may include a combination of two or more antibiotics such as clarithromycin, amoxicillin or metronidazole, along with some kind of proton pump inhibitor or histamine H2 receptor blocker. After completing the prescribed treatment regimen, follow-up tests may be done to confirm the eradication of H. pylori. So repeated breath tests, stool tests, biopsies can assess whether the infection has been successfully treated. It's important to complete the full course of antibiotics as prescribed by a healthcare professional to ensure effective eradication. So we've made it to the end of the video. If you've made it all the way to the end, leave a 100 emoji. If you have any questions about the H. pylori infection, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.